hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is zara if this is your first time in my channel i'm a medical student studying in nigeria west africa um if you guys can hear that noise please ignore it ignore it some i don't know carpenters are working so like this noise has been this is like the third day now or something so i still have to make this video okay so um hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys books that i use as a 40 year medical student in my nigerian medical school so guys in fourth year we do pathology and pharmacology pathology has like four sub courses which is hematology chemical pathology and morbid anatomy and microbiology each of these courses have their textbook i have to say this that i don't use my textbooks as much as i use my lecture notes and materials my textbook is for like consultation extra when i'm not I'm probably not getting something right and i just need to consult my textbooks that is what i use my textbook for um, so I have my textbook in hard copy and soft copy, yeah. So the first one I have here, I'll start from the general one, which is my dictionary. Is the Oxford Coincise Medical Dictionary. This is actually my mom's dictionary. She gave it to me in my first year, when I said first year of medical school. Um, yeah, so I've had this for a while now. Yeah, I don't really use it as much because it's Google and there's Medscape, but that's fine. Then the next book I have here is Drug Tell. This book is actually a CMDA publication. CMDA is Christian Medical and Dental Association. And the name of the book is Drug Tell. This is actually a pharmacology book, as you can guess, because drug is there. <laughs> so basically, it takes um, different classes of drugs in pharmacology and gives you the key points important things that you should know like the pharmacodynamics pharmacokinetics contraindications adverse effects um what else other things yeah that are important yeah so i use this book for also like a kind of consultation and when um i just need to get something fast fast i don't know if you, you ever use key points during wayek like key points economics like i loved key points then especially for economics it just made my life less stressful the next textbook i have for pharmacology since we're already on pharmacology the next textbook i have actually this textbook was given to me by my cousin because i remember that time in 2019 when we we're just getting into fourth year pharmacology was one of the confusing courses like to get textbooks for like because we had like three textbooks that were recommended to us um kazong tripathy and leaping courts we actually call um textbooks by their author's names most of the time so kazong was big it's so bulky and i feel like it's so boring i've never read it before and i also heard that it was for pharmacolo um, pharmacy students then so i was like how am i getting this book so my my um Option was between tripartite and leaping court. Prior to all this, should, which textbook should I buy? Which textbook should I not buy? I already had all my textbooks in soft copy. So the question was, should I even buy a textbook at all? I mean, but I had to buy a textbook because of the situation of light. If light was a little bit consistent, then I wouldn't bother buying any textbook. Do you understand? So this was given to me by my cousin. This is actually tripartite. The back is scattered, so I'm like wondering, is it important to show you guys? But I'll, if, I'll find a picture and I'll leave it somewhere on the screen. Yeah, so this is how the book looks like. It's quite colorful, but not as colorful as um, Leaping Cut. Leaping Cut is like a very colorful pharmacology book, which is actually really nice. Um, since we're on, what they call it, pharmacology, I also have some textbooks here. So I have soft copy of all those textbooks that I just mentioned, Kazong, Leaping Court, and Tripathy. Which one do I use the most out of all of them is Leaping Court because it's just fast, fast, and straight to the point. But sometimes when Leaping Court is so short and I need, I actually need like an explanation, I go to Kazong. I go to Tripathy, not Kazong. Kazong is the big one. So I go to Tripathy. 
um yeah what other book do i have here so i have case file for pharmacology case file is like they give you like a scenario and you're supposed to say okay what type of for example if it's like adrenergic receptors what kind of um beta adrenergic drug does this person need what are the possible side effects to give you a spin a scenario for you with symptoms and all those things i really like case file because it, it causes you to like think yeah so i have case file and i also have one that i don't really use but let me just mention it it's the colored atlas of pharmacology um i downloaded this book like before i even got into like immediately after my second mb i downloaded all these books so i don't really use it but i just got it in case i needed it so i don't even think i've ever i've opened it like maybe twice but i've never really sat down to look at what is in it because i don't think i need atlas for pharmacology so that's all about pharmacology okay yeah i have something else kaplan pharmacology if you don't know kaplan kaplan is like hmm, a med school resource mostly for usmle students but since medicine is universal you can use it they just tell you what you need to know like pick these points and go your way they don't tell you all give you all the information that your usual textbook will give you so that is about kaplan then moving on the next thing i have is microbiology now we have gotten into pathology next thing i have is microbiology made simple this book reminds me of sketchy microbes like the way they have illustrations the way they have um let me open let me look for one let me show you guys like they use very weird illustrations like what is this <laughs> do you see so it reminds me of sketchy microbe because sketchy microbe also uses illustration like a dagger a man wearing um sandals and the sandals represent one disease or one symptom that kind of thing so the reason why i don't really like this book is that is in black and white it's not colored it's just this front page that is colored but the inside is in black and white yeah but it's it's, it's, it's a really nice book so another thing i have of mcb here is i have jawet jawet was another recommended textbook for mcb but most people told me to buy like mcb made simple so i bought that one i have the soft copy of the other one i don't really use textbook for my microbiology because i checked some past questions and i found out that microbiology is actually straight to the point i mean if you read your notes if you read your lecture materials and you practice some question it's really is i feel like it's one of the easiest pathology aside skin patch yeah. It's one of the easiest you know because they don't go outside what they teach do you get so my, for me my other of med school resources are my lecture notes number one the that's my lecture note, like the notes i write in class then the lecturer's notes i mean the slides then it's past question stroke anki then videos before my textbooks actually because um most of the times your exam question will come out from one what the lecturer said in class and this will be in my notes and the lecturer's material to get and also some past school questions so reading textbook is actually it's not a waste of time it's for the extra knowledge but is if it's that you're going to look find the questions in your textbook then no so if i just read if actually if i just read my school notes and like my lecturer's notes and my own personal notes and do past questions in fact i'm just good to go do you get i don't really need um textbook but just for if i'm confused if i'm trying to understand something better then i refer to my textbook or study videos yeah so that's that about microbiology the next thing i have here is chemical pathology and we use martin crooks um yeah i think this is the only thing i have of chemical pathology i also have the soft copy of this one just in case i'm on the go and i need to get something like sharp sharp then next thing i have is hematology hofbrand's hematology hematology is about blood and immunity so that's why you can see all the 
yummy stuff of the blood. So we use half brand hematol. I use half brand hematology in medical school. Yeah. So now let's go to the the organ of pathology, which is morbid anatomy, histopathology, anatomical pathology, anyone you want to call it, yeah. So um I use a few books. Okay, not a few, but I use some books for pathology. Um, I'm going to arrange them in the order of how they are important to me, in my heart. The first thing I actually use, aside my school notes, like the first textbook I use is Patoma. <laughs> you guys, I do not, I repeat, I do not play with Patoma. Let me open it for you guys. Patoma is also used by USMLE students, but as I said before, medicine is universal, so it doesn't discriminate and say, oh... This one is American medicine, this one is African medicine, this one is UK medicine. No, it doesn't do that. So I use Patoma because Patoma is just like key points. Like they put everything in points and it's very easy to grab. Let me show you guys what I mean. For example, this is cell injury. And it's just everything is just in points, 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 points. It's just easy to understand and easy to grab. And some of the things I find in my lecture notes, I actually find them here, which is amazing. Then another mat another textbook I use after Patoma, like when I'm using my Patoma, I'm using the colored atlas of anatomical pathology. That's what I'm using because I find a lot of like pathological um pictures and condition you guys if you guys don't want to see please remove your face now because i'm about to show you something disgusting um some sad conditions let me just open up something so let me let me this is not so bad so i'm going to show you it looks like fish but this is actually a like a cross section of the human heart um, I think this is hypertrophy. Left ventricular hypertrophy. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, it has a lot of color. It's just like atlas. The way you have um, Netta's atlas of anatomy and Netta's atlas of embryology, that's how you have this one that you get. So, it's just colors of different pathological states. Like, when I'm reading about something, I just want to see it, you know, for no reason, actually. I just want to see it. It's also, it's also in my lecture slide, though, but this provides me with more pictures. So I use this. Like in, I'm arranging this thing in order of how they are important to me. So the next thing I use here is um um what's it, what's the name of this book? Hashmohan's Pathology. But I use that quick. There's something they call it. What am I looking for? It quick review. So basically. Hashmohan is also is a textbook in there are two textbooks that were recommended to buy either Hashmohan or Robbins. Most people actually like using Robbins. Um but I use Hashmohan, but in that Hashmohan, I have both the Hashmohan textbook, like in soft copy, and the quick review, like MCQs. So in before they give you the MCQs, they have like a review, like a summary of that topic, then they give you the MCQ. So in case, and then they give you the answers. So in case you find the answer and you're still confused you can always go back to the summary i also use robins very 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 rarely but once in a while i use robins very rarely but i use robins another thing i use is case file pathology so basically you have a scenario you have to ask you a question probably a diagnosis pathophysiology and you have to explain it then another thing I use is the Leaping Court Illustrated Q&A review of Rubin Pathology. Yes, Rubin Pathology. Basically, it's also like a scenario, um, case scenario kind of. Ju they're just questions. So you can say a 27-year-old woman presented to the hospital with a 6 cm lump, something like that. What is your diagnosis? What is the TNM, TNM staging? What is, how does this affect prognosis? Something like that. So I use that once in a while to just assess myself of how well I know this topic. All these things, as I said, they are once in a while. I don't use 
these things as much as I use my lecture materials, my own notes, and school past questions. Yeah, these are very important things before you even talk about your textbooks. Is there any other thing I'm forgetting for pathology? No, I think that is all. And yeah, this is all the books, materials, everything I use as a fourth year medical student in my Nigerian university. I hope this video was helpful to someone. If you love this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. This is the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah. So I'm going to see you guys in my next one as always. Bye.